Hola amigos and welcome to Colombo 101. I am Gustavo and in today's video I'm here to bring you a top 10 summer niche edition. So if you want to know which fragrances I'm going to be rocking out this summer, stay tuned. Alright guys, and before we start off with this stuff, I would like to mention that I am, as you can see, a big fanboy of the uh, Creed fragrances, so you're going to be seeing quite a few of, the, of their fragrances in my top and this top, um, so, well, it is what it is. I really like this house, I really like broken their fragrances, they are pretty good, in my opinion, I like the quality, and I like the overall composition of every single fragrance they have so you're gonna see you're gonna be seeing quite a few also if you want to vote on which one of those aside the asset fragrances you want to see in my next video just put a comment down below and I'll, I'll um, try to do a review on that one and that's it let's go to the top all right guys and the number 10 in my list is none other than Himalaya by Creed yes I already have a Creed fragrance right here um this fragrance is great I really like it Himalaya by Creed, um, we get a, a citric fruity opening with a lot of grapefruit. Uh, we get some woods, musk, and ambergris. This is mostly what you're gonna you're gonna feel right here. But overall, this is kind of like a shower gel type of fragrance. It's quite generic, but at the same time, you got that Creed quality that is really good, really noticeable. So I like it. Um, this is really high in my high or low in my list, number ten, just because I see it more for a, for a like a thirty year old in app. So this is the perfect to me. This is the perfect nineties fragrance. I just smell it. It reminds me, it takes me back to the nineties. I like. It. I really like it. Um, so number ten, Himalaya by Crate. All right, guys, and in the number nine, we have from the house Atelier Cologne Orange Sandwin. Yes, this fragrance is so good. This is the most natural <laughs> orange smelling fragrance that you ever gonna smell. It's so good, so natural. It just feels like you, you just chop an orange in half and you just squeeze it right into your neck. That's how you're gonna smell like. It's amazing, amazing. I really like this fragrance. I really, really enjoy wearing this. Um, we have some other notes here, but what you're gonna smell the most is that nice, natural, orange <laughs> fragrance. And that's it. Um, so, number nine, Atelier Cologne, Orange Sun Wind. All right, guys, and the number eight is from the house of Larty Sun Parfumer, Team Book Two. Yes, this is the number eight on my top. I really enjoy it. Oh, this is such a great fragrance. Right here, we got a nice and juicy, fruity opening with a lot of mango and pink pepper. And then it kind of like makes a turn and it gets dry and we get a papyrus and incense and vetiver, a really dry vetiver. Oh, this fragrance is a masterpiece. I really like this. Team book two for L'Artisan Perfumer. This is the number eight in my top. All right, guys, and in the number seven, we have Commodities Bergamot. This fragrance starts off with a citrus blast with a lot of bergamot, obviously. Right here, we have mandarin, mint, and a very, very dry down. This is a really nice fragrance of a really good quality. Commodities Bergamot is the number seven in this top. All right, guys, and for the number six, I got that fragrance that you need to have in your collection. If you don't have it, you need to get a bottle, get a sample, get whatever. This is an amazing fragrance of a high, high quality. This fragrance is like money in a bottle. Not only that, this always fills me with compliments. It's a, it's a compliment getter. This is a great fragrance, a great scent. And it's none other than a wash Reflection Man. Yes, Reflection Man. Right here, we got a lot of jasmine, sandalwood. We got cedar, orange root. This is like a white floral fragrance with a lot of, lot of jasmine. You're gonna feel it, you're gonna smell it, and people like it, but at the same time, it's kind of creamy by, uh, for the sandalwood, and you got that powdery, powdery um, feeling with the orange root, so this is an amazing fragrance. We get some cedar in the base. Such a great scent, such a white floral, but at the same time, it's masculine, 
like I said before, this is a compliment magnet. So you need to smell this fragrance. You need to have it in your collection. You can dress this up, you can dress it down, just a white t-shirt, or you can just wear this with a suit. It will work in any occasion. This is 10 out of 10, top notch. Number six, Reflection Man Amouage. All right, guys, and in the number five, we got Mancera's Oud Blue Notes. Yeah, this fragrance is great. Right here, we got fruits, oud, and leather. Yes, what a great sense what a great fragrance this is kind of like if you get blue de chanel and you just make it dark and like rich and, and bold and um it's like getting blue de chanel and putting some leather on it and just put leather and oud and that's kind of like the feeling you're gonna get that food you open in is great but right away you get that blast of that oud wood it's kind of like woodsy but oudsy at the same time it's so so good and then you get that leathery base Oh, Blue Notes, I really like this fragrance. And this must be the only Mancera that lasts around the six hour range. It doesn't perform like a beast, but it's such a great scent. Oh, Blue Notes is the number five in my top. All right, guys, and for the number four, I have a fragrance that no one's talking about it. Nobody has ever mentioned this in their channels. I don't know why. This is an amazing fragrance, amazing house, great quality. And it's none other than Parfums de la Bastide. Eclatant. What a great scent, guys. What a great scent. Right here, we got a, a blast of citrus in the opening with a lot of cedar and lemon. We got verbena, mint, and we have a woodsy dry down with a lot of cedar. What a great fragrance. What a great scent. Um, if you haven't heard about this, I highly recommend you to try this house. Parfums de la Bastille, their quality is amazing. And this is the number four, Eclatant. All right, guys, and for the number three, I have a fragrance that some people hate, some people love. I really like it. That's why it's the number three in my top. And it's none other than the King. Yes, Aventus. But this is the new formulation. This is the 2019 formulation. I got the 2016 over there, but I like this new formulation way better. It's more fruity. It feels more modern. With a start off with a blast of bergamot, and then you get the apple, and then you get the pineapple, and then you get some birch, but it's not that bad. I really, really like it, and I really enjoy this new formulation of Crete, and that's why it's the number three in my top Aventus. All right, guys, and for the number two, I have such a great fragrance. I feel like this, the quality of this house is like even like a top notch about Crete, like like right on the top, like Crete is right here. This is like right there, like a little bit about Crete. And it's none other than Elysium by Roja Parfums. I really, what a great fragrance. I enjoy this fragrance. This garnished me so many compliments. What an amazing fragrance. Right here, we got a fruity open, opening with a lot of grapefruit. We got vetiver, ambergris, and that woody base, that cedar woody base is so good. We have way more notes than that. This fragrance is so good, so well blended. It's just amazing, unbelievable. <sighs> yeah, if you want to get compliments and if you want a nice fragrance for the summer, Elysium by Raja. This is the number two in my top. guys and we're here we made it thank you for sticking out all the way to the end of this video i really appreciate it um and my number one is none other than millisim imperial yes but this is the 2016 edition yeah i know they have a lot of batch problems and not only with Aventus, but also with millisim imperial i have the 2013 2016 and 2017 and this is my favorite of the bunch I really enjoy this fragrance right here. We got a fruity opening with a lot of mandarin. We got salt, sea notes, woods, and musk. Um, this is the 2016, like I said before, and this is a more woodsy fragrance than the others. I really like this. I really enjoy it. And this is the number one in my top. Great quality, great scent, a compliment getter, Millicent Imperial. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for sticking out to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. 
If you're not yet subscribed to my channel and this is your first time right here in Column 101, please do consider look around and if you like the content I'm bringing you, subscribe, um, share this video with your friends and show your friends the videos that WhatsApp is doing with Column 101 and don't forget to follow me on social media. That's it guys. See ya.